As long as we all feel great about hanging out with each other and doing the thing, let's hang out with each other and do the thing because it's so much fun. Well, I, I think I'd speak for all of us. Uh, with this band is filled with writers. We've all been writing for years, but for me personally, this is the first project in some time that's uh, tapped into that resource again in a meaningful way. I got to get back to the city. I've been living on the outskirts far too long I've got to return to my soul so don't you know We really work very openly with each other. You know, thoughts, ideas, things to try. Everyone's adventurous in that way. I've never been in a band where you could just walk into a room with nothing and emerge an hour later with something that's not only complete, but it's but pretty good. <laughs> you know, like that's that's really cool. And that's I think that's a unique chemistry that the five of us have. We're able to predict each other's moves and anticipate where each other is going and really lock in without much discussion. Very little, um, hey, why don't you do this riff or do this uh, beat here and that'll kind of lock into what I'm playing. 90% of the time, it's just like, all right, that's it. The cohesion between all of us, I think is really like, is really great. I think it stands out to an avid music listener in the audience and a random listener would notice how tight we seem to be, whether you know a whole lot about music or not. Let it out and let it in. Like I say, whenever you're in that room and somebody starts on a riff, and it just starts kind of snowballing into this thing and everyone's feeling that energy, there's absolutely nothing better. I mean, that's just the most beautiful thing. We can go from one person writing a whole tune to a partial tune and bringing it to everybody, we complete it or tweak it, to everybody's in the room together and we had nothing when we walked in except for love for each other and then poof, we got two or three songs almost completely fleshed out. I grew up with country, I grew up with soul music. In our house on the weekend, it was Hee Haw and Minnie Pearl, and it was Don Cornelius. It was all happening, you know, and everything was great. So it was like, ah, oh, man, I didn't have any sort of walls put in front of me. I didn't get to walls being put in front of me until I got out of the home. I just feel like everyone's coming at it from a slightly different angle, and together, it's, it's, it's really pretty special, I think. There's so much subtlety and so much taste in the arrangements of, of the great soul guitar players and bands that I want to do that. I wanted to deconstruct it. It's all finding the balance of the light and the dark, right? Because some of the best soul music is funny and whimsical. You know, you want to make them cry and then cheer them up. Just a little bit, just a little bit more.
the door And you say it's not lying before How can you know You come and you go It's fading As the tears that darken your eyes Fall away Just a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. 